John Kleinez, what's up guys? And as we're all here trying to uh, keep our sanity out of, you know, this quarantine and, you know, all this craziness that's going on, um, I've been really busy just producing artwork. So I wanted to share this one with you guys and I wanted to uh, explain my process a little bit and, you know, hopefully you guys pick up a little something or, you know, for all of you guys that want to you know, learn art and all that, um, this is what we do. Um, so, for starters, I really want to um, express how much I really like this program, Procreate. Procreate is a is what I think is going to be the new industry standard for illustration and design work, and just the the way um, this program has made everything so easy. It's, it's just incredible. So, as you guys can see at the beginning of the video. You know, I imported a, a photo of my son that I took in the living room, you know, with a little cape on and all that. And I decided to make a comic book cover out of it. So I just dropped the opacity, you know, created a new layer, and I was able to, to um, um, trace that photo. And, you know, it saved me a lot of time because I didn't have to sketch it. So, you know, it was really cool to be able to get that picture and just add my own shading to it, add my own line work to it, and do whatever I wanted with it. So after, you know, a, a lot, after a lot of studying, you know, I've been studying this for a while, just, you know, the usage of black in comic books, I was able to go ahead and just recreate the photo and make it look as if it were a comic book style photo. By the way, just a side note, check out the blog, junklinez.blogspot.com. If you like this video, just check it out. It'll be on there and along with a bunch of other art, art related things. Um, now back to the drawing i went online and decided to look up backgrounds now i don't have a lot of experience in backgrounds that's a, a little bit of my weakness but uh, that's the beauty of the internet you could go online and just search up comic book backgrounds or whatever backgrounds you want to put to your images and just you have an infinite amount of knowledge at your fingertips so use it you know you have wi-fi you have an ipad you have a macbook whatever use your resources so after all that searching I did, I ended up liking this uh, this reddish, um, real solid background. It almost reminded me of The Incredibles, and I loved that movie. So I said, man, you know what? With the amount of black that I have on the main character, you know, I think it would create amazing contrast with this crazy dark red background with the city behind it. And it'll give it that real, like, hey, I'm going to save this city, you know, type of feel to it. So... After studying it for a little bit, I went ahead and just kind of dove right into it. Um, obviously, with Procreate, one of the wonderful things about Procreate is that you can work in as many layers as you'd like. So, I personally, when I do backgrounds, foregrounds, whatever, I like to separate it all into layers. Um, the character itself is on, I believe, three different layers. Um, so, I went ahead and separated that and just... I wanted to do the background in a couple different layers as well so that whenever I go ahead and just, let's say I can go over um, the character and it won't damage it, um, I can go ahead and, you know, take him out so I can just work on the character just by itself. And honestly, it just saves so much time and it saves so much, um, it just makes things so much easier overall. I really wish we had this program like 10 or 15 years ago. Um, now one thing's for sure, I know I've always been like a little bit of a hater when it comes down to like technology and art. I really do believe that you need to get that hands-on feel to really appreciate programs like this because, you know, it, you know, these type of programs make it so easy to illustrate and to draw that, um, when it comes down to you picking up a brush or especially, especially in tattooing, 
it almost hurts you. I don't recommend these programs for any newer, you know, upcoming tattoo artists that want to get clean lines and, you know, from that sort of thing. Just because, you know, with the streamlined feature in this that cleans up your lines and makes every line that you throw so clean, it almost hurts you because you think it's just that easy. So um, when it comes down to like actual artistry where you put your pen and paint on your pen on paper, excuse me, you know, you're going to want to take that real practice, especially as a tattoo artist. Because remember, on skin, there is no way around it. If you don't have clean lines, you're not going to do a good tattoo. But anyways, going back to this thing, once I got the background done and I went ahead and, you know, started messing around with the different tones of the, of the background, I did a foreground of a cityscape in a darker red. And as they went towards the back, the city got lighter to show a little bit of perspective. So that was, that was really cool. Next up were the, uh, the letters. For the letters, I went into my personal stash of comic books and just started going ahead and just looking at the letters. I think comic book art is so cool. So I started looking at all the letters and I mean, me being a graffiti writer and all of that, you know, like I, I can do some letters, but I realized I was overthinking it. So once I got back to work, I had a little mishap and I realized that my pen stopped working and I couldn't figure it out before I realized that the battery had died on it. So I needed to take a break and went along with the quarantine. My pen charged and we were back at it. So once I got back at it, I started doing um, a couple rough drafts but it seems to me like no matter what I did, I always got complicated with it. I tried to do some lightning bolt, you know, stuff, so make it look kind of like the flash and I wasn't liking it. I was doing it too big. You know, I wasn't, you know, working with the size right. I think it was overpowering everything. Um, oh, by the way, I decided to write Supreme in the background because that's what I call my son. Um, since he was uh, a lot smaller, I always called him Bucky Supreme. So. I decided to name the comic book cover just Supreme. I guess that would be his uh, his superhero name. Um, so I finally got it down and then I decided to make it look kind of neon-esque. So I went ahead and did an inner outline of the letters in white to give it this highlight slash glow type of look. Mind you, you have a lot of different brushes to pick from. I chose these, but you could go ahead and do whatever you want with them. Make it look shiny, make it look fuzzy. Every single thing that you do with lettering will give it a different effect. So my suggestion to anybody who uses Procreate, just play with it. Mess around with it, see what the brushes do. Um, it's what I did. After um, I did the lettering, I went ahead and just dropped a, a drop shadow on them. I felt it wasn't, um, it wasn't good enough for me, like the pop wasn't there. But once I added that black to the letters, boom, I felt it was right. Without me even knowing or feeling it, I went ahead and I, I kind of almost feel like I went for this, like almost like the Incredibles look to it. And I won't lie, I was very happy to it with the exception that I think there was too much negative space to the left of the character. So I started doing little windows on the buildings. Once I started doing the little windows, I became more content with uh, what, what I was doing. Um, you know, sometimes these little, little things I would make a world of a difference. So um, once again, I did it on a separate layer just in case, you know, I didn't like it. I could just easily delete the layer and that was a wrap. So ultimately that was the, the icing on the cake for me. And you know, once I zoomed out, I saw it and I was extremely happy with it. I cannot wait to get this printed out and put on my wall. So I've never printed, you know, anything that I've done on Procreate, but once, you know, all this is over, I do want to try new things and I'm going to possibly print it on canvas and let's see how that goes, you know? So this is the end product guys. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, to the next one, peace, Junk Inez out.